little boogie woogie bugle boy a company to be. I am Glitter Glam Mandy from Gluten Free Adventures of a Fashion Geek. So today is my first vlog because I normally blog, but I thought I'd try vlogging. So we're doing nail polish, which this isn't the nail polish I'm doing, this is something else. I found at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar, two bottles of OPI nail polish. So I decided to combine the two and come up with a neat look. So there you go. I found these just recently at the Dollar Tree. They are from 2014. Gwen Stefani holiday collection actually. Nail polish has a long shelf life, so no worries there. Be sure to shake it up really good before you use it because if you don't, you're just going to get clear polish. And both of these have a clear base, so the point is to put enough layers to where it covers the entire nail with the glitter and tinsel stuff so that you don't see the nail underneath. It has a very granite, rocky look to it when you're done. This first coat I'm using, it's called I'll Tinsel You In, which I thought was a really strange name when I found it because I didn't know this was a holiday collection and it looked, like I said, more like granite than anything else. Okay, time to dry. If you use the same brand to layer on top of each other, most likely it'll work fine. Just wait about three to five minutes for it to dry. I really do like OPI. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the ones that I usually get my hands on, but when you get them on sale, it's good. These were originally $9.50. I paid a dollar for each of them. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Now we're putting on layer number two, which is so elegant. The name makes a lot more sense than I'll tinsel you in. I don't know if you noticed or not, but when I actually apply it to my nails, I don't really brush it, I more dab it onto the nail. Because when you brush, you grab a hold of the glitter and it kind of just pulls it right off the nail. So you kind of just like dab it. And if you see a sparkle on the brush that you want on your nail, you just can kind of touch it to the nail and hopefully it will stick. Okay, second layer done. Time to dry again. Not looking too bad at this point. Go watch a YouTube video, maybe one of mine. Hint, hint. Okay. Three or five minutes later, it should be dry. Third layer, we're going back to I'll tinsel you in. In case you like the, this polish and you can't find it at your dollar store, I thought I'd look on eBay and see if it is actually available there. I was surprised to find that the cheapest was around $3.95 and most of them were around $5 or $6 and some even a little bit more expensive than that, which is kind of surprising since I found these for a dollar. Okay, now we are done with the third layer. How's it look? Looking pretty good. It's not doing anything weird, so let it dry in about three to five minutes and we'll be ready for the fourth coat. I like to layer nail polishes a lot, so I've had different experiences with different brands mixing and sometimes they'll dry really well and sometimes they won't. This particular kind is drying really well. So now we're back with So Elegant. I also looked on eBay for this kind and surprisingly, it's cheaper. I found the lowest price to be under $2. So now we're on the fourth layer. And yeah, it's surprising how much polish you can put on top of each other. Be sure you keep shaking it up. And I'm not really putting on that thin of a coat. It's, it's enough to get the glitter on there and not have it smear because you're trying to get it so thin. It will dry as long as you give it enough time, each coat. I've also found that after putting this many layers of nail polish, that when it comes off, it comes more off more like it peels off rather than chips. Like it'll even come off in like one piece sometimes. 
while I like a lot of glitter and all, I find that usually when I paint my nails a lot, it's when I'm doing a lot of work with my hands because it protects my actual nails. Like when I'm doing sewing or beadwork, working with metal, it almost is a functional thing for me. And it's pretty too. I think we are almost done here. I could put another layer of I'll tinsel you in, but I think we're good. So how do you like it? Tell me in the comments below, because I really would like to hear from you. I like it. Like, share, comment, subscribe as you see fit.